Hello everyone, really interesting logical reasoning problem today, really interesting brain test today. We need to find the last number in these in these boxes, so let's try to solve it right now. I, right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Right here on the right hand side we have a lot of options, we have A, B, C and D. So I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, try, try to think about this this number in this in this last box. It will be more interesting for you and of course for me I will see how many answers will be will be correct. And right now we are going to we are going to solve it step by step. So we have 2, 7, 22 and we have a lot of options. So let's try to think a little bit about this pattern between these between these numbers. So let's start with this one. So we have 2, we have 7 and we have 22 and we need to find this number. If we look closely we can see a really interesting really interesting pattern because right here we have odd num uh, even numbers. So this is even numbers. And of course in the in this side it looks like odd numbers. So 7 is odd number and right here our number must should be a odd number. But take a look on options. On option we have three odd numbers. So it's not our case. It's not the pattern between all of these numbers. We have 77, 67 and 11. Bo all numbers are odd numbers. So it's not our case. So we need to find another pattern between these numbers. So we have 2, 7, 22 and we need to find the last number. What the pattern between num between this number I see right now? I see a really interesting pattern because 2 and 7 so what who, what we need to multiply that is 2 to get this 7? Of course we need to multiply it by 3 so times 3 we will have right now 2 times 3 it will be equal to 6 and of course 6 plus 1 so plus 1 it will be equal to 7. So take a look closely we have 2 times 3 and plus 1 this will be equal to 6 plus 1, 7. So this is equal to 7. And it looks like this is our pattern. Because if we multiply this 7 by 3 and add 1, so if we look closely, multiply by 3 and add 1, what we will have? We will have 7 times 3 and we add 1. What we will have right here? 21 plus 1, 22. So it looks like our pattern is that. Is that one. Multiplying by 3 and add 1. And it looks like a watch. So right here we go to this side, to this side, and we need to find the last number, so we need to multiply it by 3 and add 1. Right here we have 22, so 22 times 3 and plus 1. What we'll have right here? 22 plus, plus 3 uh, times 3. We will have 60, 66, and if we add 1, we'll have 60, 67. So 67 is my answer, my approach, maybe we'll have this answer, it will be really good. And as you can see, we have this option right here, 67. But what about you? Maybe you find another pattern between all of this number, it will be more interesting to read it. And of course, it's, it's really good when you find another way to solve this interesting logical reasoning problem. Of course, it's really good. When you solve it in another way, I solve it using this logic and my, my answer is, my answer is 67. But what about you? Write your suggestion in the comment, write your question in the comment, it will be more interesting for you. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day.